I was I was good friends with uh, Safari. With Safari. That was my boy. Okay. From, like, college and shit. All right. So somebody got to get their facts straight. Because what, yeah. what, I, what I read was that while you were working with Soldier, that was why when you got your first inquiry about nah, working man. with Nikki. And nah. you said, hold on, because let me tell you what they're saying out there. Yeah. That you said that you couldn't work with Nikki because you had your hands tied with Soldier. And I was like, I needed to ask you about that. I must because have been a freaking like. PCP or some shit to say some retarded Yeah, no, I literally wanted to make sure that nah. I talked to you about that because I'm like, there's no way that you turn Nikki down nah, man. for Soldier. Nah, Safari hit me. He was like, yo, bro, um, send some beats. I'm going to get you on the on the next project. Mm -hmm. And they was in New York. Yo, I, I cooked up like, yo, Nikki, yo, yeah, she's dangerous. I, That's sis though, but she don't play. I cooked up like 100 beats. Yeah, and she only shows one. She ain't like, yo, she ain't like... <laughs> So far as people like, nah, not that. She's like, what the hell is that? What the hell is that? <laughs> so Safari so called me. He's like, yo, bro, nah, sure. I'm like, yo, bro, I sent like 30 beats, bro. I was like, what she mm, want? She bro? want what she want. So like the bang bang, I swear to God, that was like some like a yo, what the fuck she want, yo? <laughs> like I just did some bullshit. Like something that I know like her type of flow. Like mm -hmm. I said, like, she want this shit, she want this type of bullshit. Mm -hmm. That's when they used to add the little, I was like, you're here. And she, she was like, she shit hard. And I was like, what? Yeah, I mean, that was like. The, <laughs> I even like that beat. I was like, what the fuck? And it's crazy because that was like one of the biggest songs on the album too. With Lil yeah, Wayne. Wayne was on there. Yeah, yeah, like with Lil Wayne. So how did it feel? <laughs> Pink Friday dropped. Roman Reloaded dropped. A month after. Exodus. Exodus dropped. Coming at Young Money. Coming at Wayne. Shit crazy. How did that feel to you? Did you feel like... Because an important part of that, too, is Wayne's response was, fuck, fuck Pusha T and everybody that fuck with him. So what was your reaction yo, after finding out about yo, no all lie, that? No lie. Pusha, my bro. That's like my day one. You know what I'm saying? We've been cool for like probably like 20 years. Mm -hmm. I ain't care. The first thing that came to my mind was like, damn, son. I ain't gonna get no record with Jay. <laughs> I ain't gonna get no record with no more record with Wayne. I said, yo, it's over. Yeah, the time. I, I already knew it. I said, yes, a rap. I'm never gonna get nothing over there. That's what I was really tight about. I was like, fuck it with these niggas. But these my men. So I was like, oh boy. So did you feel like it hurt <coughs> any of your like business? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Did you see it outwardly or was it something that you kind of just like felt? Cause some people like outwardly talk about. I knew it, man. Cause like even some of the producers that mm -hmm. work with Drake and shit. I, I, I felt the vibes like they knew like I, I'd be with pushing niggas don't be fucking with me like that mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying Cause some of them like you know what I mean fuck with me shout out to vinyls that's my boy vinyls is cool but some other ones that's really deep in it like mm -hmm. I don't really care I don't really think it's 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 like their personal shit if nobody if no shots fired nobody getting hurt nobody rumbling I don't really I understand it's that. It's not real beef. It's like, I think it's like some music shit or whatever it is. I don't really think it's like, well, I don't be a pusher. I don't, I don't be around pushing for him. Be like, ah, drink, ah. So that's why I don't even take that shit <laughs> serious. It'd be like, it's like, you know, rap, little rap personal stuff between them. I feel like I can understand. Not I can understand, but I think what's funny is the sample went crazy. The ha 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 ha. Yo, that was, that was, that was like dream. Yo, we was, that we was really went crazy. And Dream, like Dream, this is what he'll do. He'll like play football. He like playing NFL. So he'll go in the booth, do his thing, and go downstairs, play video games for like two hours. Mm -hmm. He'll hum something in the booth for like an hour. He'll hum a whole record, no words. Then go down, play his little video games. Ah, uh, then go back and just fill in the whole record. A true musician. Mm -hmm. So while he was doing that, he's like, man, he said, what you doing, nigga? You, you trying, nigga, you ain't working, nigga, with a beat tag? With a beat tag? What that for? I said, yo, I'm about to cook some shit. He said, man, you ain't got no fucking kid. You ain't cooking shit. You ain't got no heat. You ain't going to do nothing. Da, da, da. Like, he kept, like, taunting me. Mm -hmm. Like, you ain't going to bring no heat. I said, all right, why? I said, I'm about to bring some shit tonight or whatever. He said, man, whatever, whatever. So I went down. I forgot what studio was Miami Beach doing one of them shits. And I was just going through stuff. And uh, I was listening to that Biggie record. And I just heard the ha, 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 ha. And I told the engineer, I said, yo, bro, chop that right there. I said, that's the beat. I said, chop that. He chopped it. <clears throat> he sent it to me. But the beat, the Exodus beat is not the beat. It's not the original beat I did. Mm -hmm. Like, Dream. It was That beat was so freaking dark. 
and demonic. It was so up. It was mad. Other sounds in there. Yeah, Dream there was, was a like, lot nah, of Dream said there's too much going on. He just like took out this. He just took out math. He just, I think he kept like one, two sounds. Yeah, I mean, it definitely didn't help the situation that the song that you sampled was what's beef. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so it, it all seemed very intentional. Yeah, I got then yeah, I was like, it was like I'm a troublemaker. <laughs> yeah, man. Like even with the Nikki record, it was it was around the time when um they were saying, yo, Nikki's pop. She, she, she's going super pop. She's not rapping. And she and addressed that in this one, I remember too. Flex was saying it. And, like, a week later, she dropped Bang. So I had... So it's just, like, if you got, like, beef, you want some beef shit... She said, Nikki Rico, pop. That only thing that's you. pop is my endorsement. I, she made it known. She made it known. Mm, that was T. Want more? Check out our website at www.talkingthetownshow.com. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.